Welcome everyone. Thanks a lot for staying with us. You're watching Plain Speak with me, Shivani Gupta. In a massive setback for the opposition, at least as far as narratives go, the Supreme Court today refused to entertain their plea, a plea that was filed by as many as 14 opposition parties together, alleging misuse of central investigating agencies, namely the CBI and the ED. The bench headed by Chief Justice of India D.Y. Chandrachu told the opposition counsel that the court will not entertain the plea as it will become a problem if the Supreme Court lays down guidelines in abstract manner without factual basis. The court also went on to say that there cannot be separate set of guidelines, rules or procedures for politicians, their two citizens of India. The court also asked the opposition parties to either mention specific cases, if at all, and thus, the opposition counsel, Abhishek Manu Singhvi, withdrew the petition. Whether they'll come back or not is not clear. Not surprisingly, the BJP has hailed the move by the apex court, slamming the opposition for demoralizing agencies. So what will happen to the entire misuse of agencies narrative by the opposition now? Is this a setback for that entire line of attack that has been blunted just ahead of the general elections next year? We'll talk, take those questions to our guests in just a bit. But first, let me refresh your memory, a breakdown of what this opposition plea was all about. So this plea was filed in the Supreme Court by 14 opposition parties on 24th of March. The plea stated that central investigation agencies are being misused by the government. It further added that CBI and ED are being deployed in a selective and targeted manner. The plea claimed that 95% of the cases against politicians which are being probed by the CBI and the ED today are against opposition leaders. It claimed that the sole aim behind these cases is to completely crush political dissent in the country. The plea also showed some data to claim that the ED and the CBI also have a very low conviction rate. Now, the court was quite categorical whilst dismissing this plea. Bench headed by CGI Chandrachur said, and I quote, Political leaders cannot be put on a higher pedestal. They went on to say that political leaders cannot be given an immunity as far as these investigations are concerned and they too are citizens of India. So therefore, this entire plea becomes a bit of a problem. They also went on to say that there cannot be a different set of rules and procedures for politicians alone because the main premise of this plea was that politicians from opposition parties are being targeted. In fact, the Supreme Court also went on to say that while you chime the word democracy, this sounds or seems like a plea for politicians. The court also said that if you believe these cases are having a chilling effect, which the opposition has often claimed, that's a question that needs to be taken to the political space, not the legal space. That's the big debate coming up first on Plain Speak today. With this opposition plea that has been rejected by the Supreme Court, is this entire agency misuse attack blunted them? Ye log aapka dhyan bhatkate rahenge, lekin aapko apne kaam par focus rakhenge. कोई भी भ्रष्टाचारी बचना नहीं चाहिए दे हैव कैटेगोरिकली अलाउड द विड्रॉल ऑफ दिस पिटिशन नॉट पार्सिंग एनी एडवर्स ऑर्डर I repeat, not passing any adverse order. If we get new causes of action or new persons or new reasons, it can be filed again. So clearly, they have not entertained it at this stage. सभी भ्रष्टाचारी एक मंच पर आने का प्रयास करते हैं, लेकिन ये जनता में भी इनका चेहरा बेनकाब हुआ है, और कोर्ट में भी असलियत जानने का मौका मिला.
Uh, let's go across to the guests who are joining us, waiting for some of our political representatives to be joined in. But I am uh, joined in by George Kurian, political analyst who leans towards the Congress party. Tushar Gupta is senior editor of Rajya Magazine. George, let me begin by asking you, and I should mention this for the benefit of our viewers, the Congress has declined to be a part of this debate. But George, isn't this a big setback? Isn't this uh, an embarrassment, if I may say so, for the opposition and the joint uh, opposition? Because, you know, this this whole esoteric attack that there is some large misuse of agencies, it doesn't cut ice, certainly not legally, unless you can specify in which case the co the case is motivated or political vendetta. The opposition seems to be failing to do so. Well, a very good evening to your viewers and to you uh, and my co-panelist. Uh, uh, let, me, let me begin by saying that uh, the decision from the Supreme Court, it's a welcome move, not a problem. See, the, the opposition is so strong today that, you know, uh, post-2014, it has been going through all the all the harassment and intimidation from the ruling dispensation. So it doesn't doesn't really matter to it. It will come back with a strategic move again to to you know counter the uh, decision that the Supreme Court has taken at the, this point in time today, hmm. because it, it's for the it's for the people and the the voters to. Uh, take a call or you know take a make a judgment on you know what's going on in, yeah in you're the, right about that in, and the court actually right. alluded to that that actually this is more a political charge that must be fought in the political space so was it foolhardy of the opposition which is headed and spearheaded by many prominent lawyers to even take a plea like this a generic plea like this to the supreme court was it then only for theatrics and optics well, well, uh, I, I strongly believe that you know at this point in time it was a little too early for the United uh, for the 14 opposition parties to you know uh, take a vague kind of a petition uh, or, yeah. or a plea to the Supreme Court. So uh, going forward, I'm I'm sure that they will have a strategic move with with detailed cases by cases uh, as with regards to the opposition leaders uh, uh, with 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 uh, with respect to harassment and intimidation and you know targeting the opposition. Uh, leaders uh, in in specific, hmm. and I'm also confident that the opposition parties will will go into the people's court, which which are the voters, and uh, bring it to their notice uh, as far as the uh, all the cases that has been leveled against the opposition leaders. Uh, to be very specific, because we have seen the rise in the number of cases with the opposition leaders uh, when when it comes to uh, see, it, it's a very good thing. Uh, to say that zero zero tolerance with as far as corruption is concerned, but why that zero tolerance? Just uh, keep it limited or single out to the opposition leaders. Is that what? No, that is but what the, you know, the question is. I get that question, but George, just because there are cases coming out on one side, agencies cannot do monkey balancing by also just you know putting cases on the BJP leaders. There has what is the serious allegation of corruption that has come out? Not just against a central government or any state BJP government. You please name it. That has not been probed. Well, there are so many opposition leaders who have joined the Bharatiya Janata Party today. That's, I don't want to no, name no, that's a separate them, argument. Right? Forget about they, those they who been, have joined have... the BJP. I'll come to that question separately. But there is a BJP government at the centre for nearly 10 years. There are multiple scores of BJP governments in states. If there is a corruption charge that comes out, it will be investigated. But the reality is that no significant charge has come out. I'll come to the question of deflections later, please. That's a slightly separate issue. Yes, George, please finish. Oh, was that for me? Yes, yes, go ahead. Please finish. So that is what I'm trying to over and above. All I want to say is that opposition party is united in, the, in this in this fight against against the kind of intimidation and harassment that uh, is singled out to the opposition parties, and it will come out with a strategic move to counter the decision from the Supreme Court, and very soon it will it will come out with a strategy. Okay, all right. I'm also joined by Ravula Sridhar Reddy, senior BRS leader. Mr. Reddy, is this not an embarrassment for all opposition parties because your single pointed attack on the government seems to be every day? that agencies are being misused against them. You have made the similar charge when it comes to Ms. K. Kavita's role or investigation in the Liquorgate scam. But the Supreme Court believes you are not above investigation. You are not above the law. There cannot be a separate pedestal for politicians. BRS never, BRS never said we are above the law. We are only have actually, you know, talking about central government misusing the probe agencies. That is the basic issue. And entire country is watching this. It is nothing new in the country you have seen for the past eight and a half years, Modi government, how they are behaving. And it is only for opposition, CBI, ED, and IT effectively work. And they arrest them, they you know fabricate cases, 
they falsely impl you know implicate us so we are seeing so it is it is opposition will use or explore every opportunity to you know show the government's misuse and abuse of the power okay What's but what the court okay. no there's nothing wrong in it but what the court is saying mr reddy is you come back to us or you show us specific examples now you've got the case of miss kavita and her the investigations against her in the liquor cage scam uh she's been going to the court the court is not giving her any relief so is the case for manish tisodia another accused in this case or for others so my point is if you are so convinced that these are false accusations why are you not getting any relief you're going to courts on that front too then how does this charge stand we made it very clear in this delhi excise policy case hmm. neither kavita ji nor any other brs party leader has any role in it number 1 number 2 we are cooperating with the investigation and investigating agency we went to the court they had to complete the hearings on it so uh, there will be you know enough time you know, they will have to come out with a decision from the court mm. so we will wait that's what i'm trying to say we will explore all the opportunities before us to prove the central government is wrong and how these uh, central agencies are behaving with only opposition leaders not questioning any bjp leader and all that we are seeing that so we will definitely continue to fight and we will wait for the right time you know to okay. show on a further show how the central government is using the um, ed or cbi or it to which hand the opposition leaders okay uh, let me go. rajiv pandey of the bjp is also joining us but rajiv just stay with me because uh, tushar has been with us for quite some time tushar uh, narrative wise speaking how bad could this be for the opposition because this is a big stick they've been using to hit at the bjp government the central government Good evening, Shivani. Shivani, yeah. the absence of any Congress spokesperson to take your tough questions on this observation by the Supreme Court mm. is an answer in itself about the narrative and how it has been dented. But interestingly, Shivani, one of the signatory of this letter was the RJD, mm -hmm. and it has had its chief uh, head, Lalu Prasad Yadav, convicted in the fraudulent scam. Now, I'll give you an interesting uh, story. Until May 2013, when Dr. Manmohan Singh was the Prime Minister, it was a UPA government. 44 of the 53 cases filed mm -hmm. under the first scam had ended in conviction which also included the conviction of lalu prasad yadav now today the rjd is saying that the agencies are being misused under the modi government mm -hmm. there is the aam aadmi party also one of the signatories they claim that manish sisodia was innocent satendra jain was innocent but in the last few months they haven't been able to secure the uh, bail of even 1% Congress claimed that they were innocent in the National Herald case. The Supreme Court refused to stay the proceedings. We all saw what happened with the Surat Court about the OBC remark. Samajwadi Party was other signatory. We have seen their trust, their acquaintance with some infamous gangsters, and how that has ended in the political defeat of the Samajwadi Party. Trinamool Congress just a few months ago wasn't the Trinamool leader. who was caught with hordes and hordes of cash in bengal so what moral or morality do, do these parties dictate when they attack the bjp when it comes to the misuse of the agencies they're saying she, when they say selective and biased approach Shivani, like you heard they're Shivani, saying once again rajiv ji once again they're saying that those who join the bjp a dead giveaway that this is biased is the fact that those who join the bjp suddenly don't have the heat of the agencies that on them the cases no, might I, not go away but they they live their lives comfortably there is no heat by the agencies tushar very quickly okay. then rajiv can respond to this if that is indeed the case these people who have joined the bjp have come from other parties presumably of one of these 14 parties yes. why can't the party leaders or spokespersons or the cadre go and file a case with all the evidence For no instance, but that's not Rahul fair no tushar it in. is not the opposition party's job to be investigating no, and going to court that's not a sufficient course, response to the fact that these people were being probed earlier No, it's the job also. It's their job also as citizens. Now, Rahul Gandhi, in every press conference, says so, so that there is Modi money say, in Adani Shell companies. I am asking as a citizen, where is the evidence? Why are you not taking it to the courts? Again, this is all about the narrative. The Supreme Court has punctured the narrative. The CBI failed to. Where the opposition to... parties keep claiming that the agencies are being misused. Rahul Gandhi keeps claiming that the judiciary is a sellout. All that narrative has been punctured today, and very right. Okay, so. Mr. Reddy, please respond. Then I have to bring in Rajiv Pandey. Uh, Mr. Uh, you know, Pandey is saying that you know. No, this is CBI Tushar Gupta. This was Tushar Gupta speaking independently. Sorry, sorry. Yes, go ahead. Yeah, Mr. Tushar was saying that uh, you know, ED, CBI, IT. Failed to collect the evidence against 
all bjp leaders who were accused in many cases hmm. now it is up to the job of you know opposition parties to collect evidence hmm. uh, i'm not saying collect evidence i'm saying why did you want to say I'm, I, I, what is this logic all about how come cbi or ed finding evidence or collecting evidence only of the opposition leaders why are they failing in bjp leaders cases so this is a clear cut case of political vendetta even okay. in delhi police uh, delhi excise scam issue whatever they called as scam and all that in delhi excise police issue they could not find any evidence no money okay. found no documents were found all losses were imaginary and they fabricated a case and they put two leaders behind the bars of But course mr the reddy now here is where i have some one, 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 one point one point one point then the court Please. will take a decision to the best of my knowledge yes basis the evidence or whatever documents provided by the Investigating agencies. No, And Mr. Reddy, all of your other yeah, points, I take. Once again, Tushar. Once point. again, I do have an objection to the fact that you are saying that this case doesn't stand. There is no loss. There is no problem. But I'm sorry, that is not for you to adjudicate on. That's the Should court's job. Point. And the court is not even giving bail to Manish Sodia, who's accused number one in this case. Forget about Ms. Kamita's role or the allegations. Are, are they running away? One more point, please. No, they're not running away because they cannot run away. Obviously, how are you going to be in politics if you run away from these investigations? That doesn't make them stay. No, I'm sorry. The fact that these politicians are not leaving the country, unlike what some other uh, fraudsters may have. Does not make them saints. You're not doing anyone charity by being part of these investigations, and I think I'm that's exactly what the court is uh, suggesting that you're not above the law. Your citizens face the law. Yes, to share very quickly. Rajiv Pandey is waiting. Mr. Reddy, Mr. Reddy, from one citizen to another, you say that there was a political vendetta case in the Delhi Excise Policy scam. You do remember that the Aam Aadmi Party approached the Supreme Court for relief from Anish Sisodia. You know, in the court, they once did not cite their fundamental rights, which they could have, citing political vendetta. You know, instead, what they claimed, they claimed that they were happy to cooperate with the agencies in the scam that was being leveled against them. So you might hear say that this is political vendetta, but the Aam Aadmi Party you're defending in the apex court actually accepted that there was a case and wanted okay. to cooperate. But so this is this right. is no, this is exactly the point, Rajiv Pandey. You know, this is a political charge that needs to be fought politically. Did the opposition parties make a mistake fundamentally of making it a legal proposition? Because actually, if you look at a lot of these individual cases, vendetta is not quoted in courts. It is never used Shiva as a defence because you know Shivani it will not ji, succeed. Shivani ji, all the opposition party which they tried today, they have failed before Honorable Supreme Court of India. The larger issue is. They are not. They are not in a position to get relief in their particular case. And what mm -hmm. Honorable Supreme Court of India has said so, that we have to examine every case. You know what uh, uh, Manish Sisodia was saying few days back till he was arrested. Then you know nothing has been found in my room. Nothing has been found in my club. Nothing has found. Now why is in jail? Now one B B R S leader is saying you know nothing has come. Mm -hmm. Let the investigation complete. That is my first point. I am not an investigating agency. So I cannot say BJP under the BJP government a, a full free hand is given to the agencies. Agency investigate and then they, they file case. They do not do it for political reason. Uh, like uh, uh, earlier, you you see, Lalu Prasad Yadav it took almost twenty years to get him convicted. My question is right now. Once again, once again, I did, not, I did not I did not utter one word. Once again, Mr. Reddy, Mr. Reddy, I'll give you this more time. This is very unfair. I've got a few minutes. Mr. Reddy, minutes more. Yes, please Reddy, let him finish. Yes. I'm only saying. If your leader is not corrupt, nothing will happen to him. But I am telling you, anybody corrupt in this country will not be spared. I think that's why. Okay. Prime Then Minister what about said, Mr. Pandey? Mr. Powerful. Pandey, let me repeat my question to you that I asked Tushar earlier. What about those individuals who you used to call corrupt, but since they have joined your party, are somehow no longer under the radar of the agencies? Shivani ji, Shivani ji, only you take. Uh, one leader from Assam, another leader from uh, Bengal, uh, 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 West Bengal. No, Maharashtra. There are leaders, such no, leaders from Maharashtra. Listen to, me. listen to me. Listen to me. What I'm saying, you know, one leader who came uh, to BJP and now now he has gone back to uh, again TMC. Hmm. I don't want to even take the name. Hmm. What I'm saying, Shivani. agencies, agencies cannot plant the evidence. Understand, Shivani ji? I am saying that leader has come. Mukul Roy came to BJP and now gone back to. KMC What's the point you're That making is, You know agencies agen what I'm trying to make it is not people changes party 
because of their political uh, understanding. No, but what things. about the it heat not... of the agencies on <coughs> such no, leaders, no, the likes of Sumedhu Adhikari, Himantha Miswa Sharma, the likes of Mr. Rane? Mr. Eddie, once again, please, please, one by one, please, one by one. The agency must be investigating the matter, you understand? No, we have not heard any, no, no, that's not the point. Obviously, technically, they're under investigation, but we've not seen any case of those investigations. You know, I don't talk about when Manish Sushodha. Now Manish Sushodha is arrested. That uh, Satinder Jain is arrested. No, don't go you to know, them. Lalu Come Prasad to the leaders I'm to only asking one about. Only one line. Yes. One in 4 lakhs rupees, 150 crores bungalow is being bought by Lalu Prasad's son, who is deputy CM. Do you think that government and agencies will leave him? Not at all. You know, what no. Mr. Gupta has, uh, mm -hmm. uh, political analysis, Tushar has said, mm -hmm. if you have concrete evidence, he is not saying you go and investigate. No. When there was a Congress government, we went to Honorable Supreme Court of India in 2G and CWGS camp. If they have proof against their own leader, like Mr. Roy, or any other leader, they should one go second, to the court. Eddie, one second, Mr. Reddy, one second, please. That's my point. No, okay, but you haven't please, answered please. my question. One second, Mr. Reddy, I'll, I will give you an opportunity. Please don't speak over other guests. Mr. Korean is also waiting. I didn't get an answer, Mr. Pandey, as to how leaders who join you suddenly, there are no raids against them. Suddenly, the Madam. pace of investigation against them falls. I am not saying Shivaniji, that you Shivaniji, plant, uh, Shiv you know, evidences against them. But you were the ones you know, who were raising, uh, you know, who were you raising know, a hue and cry about their corruption. You know, Shivani ji, I that's why I gave you the reason of uh, name of Mukul Roy. Uh, now he has gone back to TMC. Then, so he didn't come to BJP to get off the hook. He didn't went back to TMC. Now to again get investigation. I am telling you, okay. BJP Mr. Kurian, government, you wanted to come in. George agencies Kurian. go. Agencies given free hand to investigate the matter, and every corrupt will be taken to okay. task. George I can Kurian, tell very you this. quickly. Honorable Prime Minister has well, also said so. Shivani, yeah. Shivani, yeah. let me make it very clear: the opposition party is not trying to defend the cases against the opposition leaders. Their whole intent is that you know it has to be it has it, it, sh it shouldn't be singled out just to the opposition leaders because we have been seeing that post 2014 the number of cases has risen only uh, against uh, the opposition I leaders. A small so it, it, if, I it, if it, the BJP is really if the BJP is intention Sir, is one zero second, one by one, Mr. Pandey, one it second, be, one it second. It should be it should be it should be at it should be in, in respect to every every political spectrum or every political party including the Bharati Janata Party. So this kind of one sided only uh, one just, line just Shwani, trying very to corner or line harass the opposition line. leaders is not correct is what I'm trying to okay, say. Okay, yes, Mr. Pandey. Only one line. Yeah. What I'm saying right now there is a government of uh, JDU and RJD in Bihar. Hmm. Their BJP was in power. If they find that BJP leaders have done something wrong, or in in Maharashtra they had uh, they were in power. You know, there is so many states where opposition party is ruling. I am saying you have also uh, anti-corruption bureau. Okay. Why you are not taking action against them? Okay. If you find, because the reason is BJP, they are unable to find any corrupt people in the BJP. Okay, Mr. That's Reddy, why they are unable to Mr. Take. Reddy, That's respond to that point. please. Uh, Mr. Tushar is saying, you know, all the corrupt will be held, they will be punished. I would like to ask you only two things. Mr. GVL Nasir Rao, the Raj Sabha member and the spokesperson of mm. BJP now, mm. in 2019, he was saying about two MPs, Raj Sabha MPs of Andhra Pradesh, as they are Andhra Malyas. They both have you know different banks to the tune of 6,000 crores. And other MP, Mr. CM Ramesh, evaded the tax to the tune no, of hundreds of crores. The individual they both we were called as Andhra Malyas. Well, listen, listen, Andhra Malyas. After Sir, that, they why, have joined. Why, 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 this is not a debate on Andhra Malaya. Why are you frustrated? I know you, you where support you all have been put into task. You, you support that you are uh, uh, misusing you honorable Supreme Court of India and time and And you apply Nirma, sir. Hold a minute. Let me what I'm saying, it. sir, is this I'm the debate of that uh, two Mr. MPs? Pandey, is this the debate of two MPs? I am saying me all political opposition parties went to honorable Supreme Court of India. Right, the Supreme Court of India has rejected. You know, I waited for my turn. And, and, I know. And try to, I am, I try am to opening protect up. The corrupt people. I know. Don't try exposed. to protect corrupt. I know he's Don't exposed. Don't try to protect, protect corrupt I, people I in this country. Okay, one by one. Please. Let, to Mr. Pandey, let him just finish, please. You can respond later. Us. Yes. Let me complete. Mr. GVL Nasimara told that they are Andhra Malyas. He wrote a letter to Raj Sabha chairman to disqualify them. Okay. After that, Mr. Y.S. Chaudhary, CM Ramesh, joined BJP, applied by... Uh, no, uh, Nirma Sarf applied by Sri Amit Shah. They joined. They happily met Honorable Prime Minister 
after that no so cbi okay okay no ed what is this no i think he's essentially making become, the same you know, point mr please. pandey i have only 10 what seconds left can you respond to that only that is the political perception the bjp will have to fight why is, uh, shivani ji i'll tell you shivani ji i'll give 10 seconds for me 10 seconds only mr reddy please yield now yes 10 seconds i'll tell you i'll tell you you know they are talking about that the moment they people join bjp i'll tell you hmm. now almost 9 years is over of the modi sarkar they yes. could not find one corruption one scam that's the reason that that's you cannot find issue. people in bjp you tell me when there was a 10 years so cpa government several people filed Mandal, petition in supreme court of india and Mandal, several Mandal, ministers Mandal, and Mandal. parliament went to jail okay. is it correct Correct or wrong? I have Shivani to leave it me. at that. What I'm saying that is correct or wrong. No, no I, I have to leave it at that. that. Corruption cases must you, be pursued, an and there is vision. absolutely BJP. neither any separate pedestal for politicians, nor can there be any excuses that somebody else is also doing this. Why are you asking me? But there is a political perception that those who join the BJP somehow go scot-free. I have to leave it at that. I do thank our guests. Some of them will be.